So obviously I use Vim for editing text files because it is based on the terminal application and it has uh, key bindings for everything. So if I type in Vim, as you can see I can just type anything after entering the insert mode and then I can obviously use the HDKL keys to navigate which is very useful and so that's why I don't use applications like let's say VS Code I have a version of VS Code here that is with open source binary called VS Codium and so I found this uh, extension called Helix Keymap and VS Code NeoVim and it basically does is adds the VS Code keys or VS Code um, VS Code to Vim basically so you can have VS Code features like now I am in normal mode right here and I can obviously use HDKL now to navigate which is much better and much faster and obviously I can enter insert mode and then um, insert text so this is really good for uh, junior developers and people because you have the VS Code GUI with stuff and like that and the Vim features but I don't really like this because obviously this is an app that requires lots of uh, RAM and stuff system resources so it will never be as good as the VS Code um, VS Code will never be as good as the Vim terminal app so Vim can be run in the terminal obviously so it's very lightweight and this little extensions just make it a little better so I always recommend using this if you don't like terminal applications or don't want to set it up and yeah that's it for this video I just wanted to point this out again the extensions is called uh, VS Code NeoVim and the Helix Key Map I think both of these works I installed both of them in this as well but this was something else so I don't know that and yeah this app is also the open source binary of VS Code very useful much better than VS Code because VS Code is proprietary meaning it is bad VS Code is bad okay so VS Code DM it's open source binary only and it is good so use VS Codium with this extension if you don't want to use Vim or you could use NeoVim so do sudo pacman s NeoVim in Arch Linux obviously and then you can just install it and use it it's a little bit, little bit easier to use because you got some extra features here like this and this all that but personally I prefer Vim better. So that's it.